right. I don't even know how to start this video. So let's start it. Hi everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Money Reads where I talk about books and things and where you're going to hear a lot of construction noises and also my neighbors being my neighbors that they don't know how to just be quiet. So I'm sorry about all that. But I'm here to talk about TBRs and how I think I'm not gonna do them anymore. Now li listen, 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 before you, you assume anything. The thing about TBRs is that you set a number of books that you want to read in the month and then you read them. The thing is, I've been changing up my content to where I do like a weekly vlog of what I'm reading, which is usually a secret TBR, which is not really a secret because if you, I, I realize if you follow me on social media, you know exactly what I'm reading, but that's okay. You know, not all of you follow me on Twitter, which is fine. I just post really random things on Twitter. But the point is that it, if I'm doing these secret TBRs, then I'm not really going to show you the books I'm going to read. I can show you some of the books that I'm going to read that don't fit into the secret TBRs because I do have them planned out. I've been planning, I've been busy like a bee planning out like every week what I'm going to be reading and I have it planned like up to a month in advance now, which really takes a load off my shoulders. The thing is, I can't do TBR videos anymore. And by the same vein, I can't do, well, I, it's not, it's not that I can't, it's that I, you know, it's that you're gonna see them anyway because I'm gonna show you the books that I'm gonna read at the beginning of the week and then I'm gonna, you know, read them. You can see the vlog, you're gonna see my thoughts on it. So on this, by this, so you don't get a wrap up either because you've already seen it unless you want me to do a separate wrap up in case you don't want to see the video. So, um, I don't I don't I don't know what to do. But I do have some books here that don't fit into any of my secret TBRs that I do want to get to this month. So, um, maybe I'll do a wrap up for these books only or maybe I'll read them. I'll find a way to integrate them in a secret TBR. There's three here that I could do like a whole video on reading them, but I just don't I don't know, I, I don't know why I don't feel like that. <laughs> but I have three Neil Gaiman books, which I didn't get to last month, which is The Ocean at the End of the Lane uh, by Neil Gaiman. Then I have The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. And then I have Fortunate the Milk by Neil Gaiman. So those are three Neil Gaiman books, and these are the last three Neil Gaiman books I have and I would have read everything of his that he has published that I own. Not everything of his, because I do have, um... Oh, I forgot the name, but I have it somewhere. Well, I have Neverwhere, and I have Star... Stardust? Star I'll insert the picture here. So I have those, and I also have Coraline, which I've already read. So I, I think I, I will have read a lot of Neil Gaiman. I also didn't get to the Midnight Library. Now, I didn't get to the Midnight Library basically because I'm kind of scared of it now because a lot of people told me that more than it being uplifting that there's a lot of trigger warnings and I did look up to the trigger warnings for like suicide, su suicide ideation and that sort of stuff. But I still want to get to it. I still want to get to it and I'm in a good mental state right now so maybe that would be a good idea, you know, to get to it when I'm feeling well, not when I'm feeling down. So this is another one that is up for grabs. And then the final one that I have is I was thinking about doing a sci-fi classics um, book vlog where I read two or three. Well, I was thinking about, I, I usually do three to five books. Usually, I, I, I want to keep it down to three, but then I see I have so many books that I want to read. So um, it's three to five, and thinking about reading three to five classic sci-fi books doesn't, it doesn't, bring me joy. It doesn't bring me joy. So I have um, iRobot by Isaac, Isaac Asimov and um, I haven't read this in years and I really want to read it so there you go. But the rest of my TBR is just gonna be in vlog format so you can watch it and you can watch my thoughts on it as it happens. I hope that that doesn't bother you and I hope that you get as much enjoyment out of that as I have gotten myself out of doing it <laughs> like this I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> you know because I I've already I I'm one book away from posting the first vlog which should be going up this week 
and I've just been enjoying sharing my thoughts with you and just turning on my camera and filming not having to set up but I do want to still film some videos here because you know this is this is my my comfort space this is my this is my comfy place I like it <laughs> <laughs> you know um so i'm still gonna do some tags i'm still gonna do some book discussions if you're wondering why i haven't done any more book discussions or why i haven't done any more book chats about things in the community and stuff like that the real reason for it is i have nothing to say at the moment really i'm kind of i think i got a lot of stuff out of my system when I first started my channel and I was posting like every day and I was really like into Twitter and seeing the Twitter fights and stuff like that and now I'm just really not into that I just kind of you know like flow along with things and I really haven't gotten to any thing that I'm like hey this is something I should be talking about but well, I do have a tag coming up um, and I have this idea of doing a video in Spanish but I don't know if any of you would appreciate that. I would of course put the subtitles down here in English for everything I'm saying um, but I don't know if any of you would appreciate that. I have a, a tag that a, a Mexican booktuber uh, called Rafa um, tagged me in which is the sci-fi classics tag which I think I'm going to do horrible in by the way because I don't read a lot of I, or at least I don't think I read a lot of classic sci-fi but we'll see when the tag comes you can see I'm very prepared for it um, yeah so that's it that's my teeny tiny TBR I think this is the smallest TBR ever oh I didn't do my TBR jar for my Kindle books let's see if I I might not get to these but at least you know I'll have them for a while so um, oh. The first one, you can tell I'm excited, I have is The Woman in White. I'm going to put her right over there. The second one is Behind Closed Doors, which is a thriller. Let's do three. And the third one I have is Blood Child. I think that's by Octavia E. Butler. I think. I'm not sure. I didn't put the the the... The names oh i see this one and i kind of want to bring it out so i'm gonna do four the boy who sailed to spain i'm gonna put those four here and i'm gonna just go and i'm gonna read them along i did really well with this challenge last month i had articulated restraint and i also had um what was the other one i had i have them up here oh the brain book <laughs> I keep calling it the brain book, the nocturnal brain. I did a vlog reading both of those. I will link it up here. But let me know if you want to just have a general wrap up and I'll film a general wrap up of the 18 books I read in the month of June. Let's see how July goes. July started off pretty well. I mean, I thought it was July, but then I finished the book like the 30th of June. I started it and I thought I was going to finish it in July, but I actually finished it that day. So that was really exciting. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I guess I will see you when I upload my upcoming vlog. Let me know again. Please let me know if you want a general wrap up of the books I've read this month. Um, I don't know how that's going to work because I feel that sometimes the secret TBR videos are going to overlap in months, but We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'm figuring out things to do with my channel. And yeah, I'll see you all in another galaxy far, far away. Bye.